What is up, guys? We have information about the next set called Amazing Defenders. Really awesome, cool name. Konami, I guess. Uh, we got YouTubers, I think. If not, uh, I don't know, guys. I, I haven't actually haven't been following too much the news too much on this set. First of all, all side sets have basically sucked since like forever. Uh, since I've basically been doing stuff on YouTube, since I've been back in the game and all that stuff, all these side sets have never been appealing to me. Uh, and I don't think I'm the only one as well. Like, I don't think I'm in the minority, I should say, because uh, you're never the only one. There's people that are going to believe what crazy stuff you believe as well. Uh, and uh, this set is no exception, right? So this set is very, very mediocre in my opinion. Let's go ahead and see what Konami themselves tries to uh, tell us about the set. Because, I, again, I don't follow the set, guys, or sets like these because they are boring. Uh, so most of the stuff I am kind of new to. So each theme has a unique gameplay style. Yeah, there's three themes uh, and whatnot. Every side set has three new archetypes. And uh, typically there is a waifu archetype and there are 15 collector's rares and uh, let's see, uh, 10, 10 ultras, 10 super or 15 supers and uh, 35, 35 rares. So this set has all rare cards, like the, the base rarity you can get is a rare and there's 60 cards in a set uh, to be two of notes to, to take uh, to, to remember. So you guys remember, I guess, I don't know how to phrase it any other better, uh, any way better than that. This sets like these have bad reputation because you can, when uh, when you buy a box you can only get three ultra rares and for comparison when you buy a uh, we, well I guess they, they you can't do this anymore because legendary duelist sets are just gone now because Konami fumbled that as well. Uh, legendary duelist sets had like five ultras I think or six so comparatively the these side sets have you get less ultra rares sucks right. You're going to have to buy a lot more product uh, for you to actually enjoy whatever archetype you want to play. If you actually want to play these archetypes, that's up to you. I, again, they're they're probably not going to be that interesting. So, going back here. Rescue Ace Turbulence is one of them. It's going to be primarily a fire machine attribute, it seems like. And then uh, we have <laughs> a fucking furry. Expurely Happiness. Wow. Purly, purly, purely... Is it purely, or are they trying to, like, purr like a cat? Happiness. Happiness. Yes. All right. So, anyways, the furries are, are going crazy. The TLC, oh, my God. And uh, an Xyz monster that needs a little tender love and care. And the furries are going to do a lot of tender love and care, I'll tell you that much. Uh, to reach its full potential, raise it well, and there's nothing you can't accomplish together. So, it's a Pokemon uh essentially i guess a, a ritual monster the the what the fuck how do you say that oh he made the manifested mikanko mikanko oh okay fairy ritual monster a ritual monster who only appears upon mastering the mystic dance what kind of powers does it hold zero attack zero defense that's actually kind of interesting i didn't notice that uh before with all the leaks that we got here so i didn't watch any of the videos guys most youtubers i kind of find boring i ain't gonna lie uh they all say like the same stuff so usually when you watch one video you watch them all i just didn't have time today to watch any of their videos so thank the lord dual daddy provided the spoiler and ready for duel has uh some spoilers for the collector bears and that's what we're going to be kind of looking at here so the new archetypes to kind of dive in a little bit more it does seem that like the rescue aces are all fire and I mean, this is nothing new too. I think this is like the OCG got this set like three months ago. Like I said, though, I don't follow sets like this though. So this is news to me. Uh, Rescue Ace Airlifter, Rescue Ace Monitor, and Rescue Ace Impulse are all Warrior though. That's interesting. So it's Warrior Machine and a little mix of both. And they're, but they're all fire attributes. So I guess that's cool. I mean, they, they this archetype is a lot the coolest archetype in the set but that's not saying much right and then we have the furries which are all fairy and somehow this guy is going to turn into a uh, a level two somehow yeah i don't, I don't know how that's going to work and they have a lot of quick play spell cards they kind of work off spell cards but this one does have a lot of exceeds monsters you have your, your little pokemon and then you choose which furry you want to fuck essentially and you take your choice so it's, a, it's an eevee 
and the furries are gonna evolve it into whatever they want to fuck that day essentially that's that's what this archetype is all right moving on we have the obligatory waifu archetype which only has two monsters that's actually kind of interesting and it's a ritual based deck uh, they all have zero attack as well, and it's kind of mixed with the typing as well. So Warrior, Spellcaster, and Fairy, that is interesting. Uh, besides that, I mean, they got the obligatory cute waifu uh, shit, the shtick. Moving on here, what else we got? So mo most, of the, most of the new... Um, most of the new, uh, what's it called, the reprints kind of suck as well. We did not need Infernoble reprints unless i'm mistaken they're like cheap as fuck although they were in tune chaos so maybe we did I, I maybe i was just sleeping on it i don't know uh reinforcement of the army really stupid reprints no one wants no one cares about reinforcement of the army it's a good card but like we already got this reprinted to hell like it's not an expensive card right it's a it's a staple it's 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 limited it's a good card but, uh, well, it's a staple, I should clarify, because people are going to call me stupid. It's a staple in Warrior decks, but it's also been reprinted to... I think it was, like, in every starter deck, a structure deck, back in the day that had a war... Because basically all starters and structure decks, back in the day, had warriors unless they were themed uh, a certain way, like the zombie structure deck, for example. But, oh yeah. So, Infernoble Knights, how we got Reinforcement of the Army, kind of a snooze fest there, one for one. I mean, I guess that's going to be used for the furry archetype. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Super rare, though. Hey, that's actually kind of a nice uh, rarity bump there. Hidden Armory, no one cared. Let's see, Exceeds Import, Cheap AF. Wasn't it a common, too, already in one of the uh, main sets? So, why is it a common? No, it's a rare, right? Because the base rarity is rare, so it's a rare now. Uh, Card Trooper is nice, though. And the only reason it's nice is because... Wait, why is it in here? Is it for the Machine Archetype? Because this Mills is, is the Machine Archetype. Or the Machine Warrior Fire Archetype. A Mill deck? Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, Card Trooper being in here is only good if it's actually a collector's rare. There was like a leak or a tease or something like that. It wasn't. I don't think it was one of the uh, Yugi tubers or whatever opening up something. I think it was a, a, like a legit leak. So hopefully it is true. Because Jaden's, uh, you know, I love my heroes. I love my Neo Spatians. I love my all all the hero archetypes essentially. But what we also need from Jaden's side is all the the cute little toy slash i don't know what you want to call them cards that he had like card trooper we also had uh fucking i'm blinking on a dandelion dandelion is an adorable little fucker that needs to be to, to have like some good support or at least like a re re not a reprint a fucking uh a rework because you cannot use dandelion because it is banned uh although i would also take dandelion dandelion uh reprint as well as a collector's bear or something like that because it's a it's an adorable little fucker uh, arm protector dragon no idea what that does I th yeah so that's a collector's bear as well nothing too crazy here limiter removal machine dupe uh as they're going to be rares maybe machine duplication should have been like an ultra rare or a a super because the only super i remember being reprinted for machine dupe was in an ots pack so you know some accessibility there uh, I sold as a super rare. I guess it hasn't been reprinted in forever. I do need a copy as well. A collector's rare would be nice as well. And then for some reason, Phoenix Gear Freed. Uh, I guess they're just kind of reprinting a lot of stuff from Tomb Chaos at this point. And nothing... Oh, Perry Reyes map. They're fucking ruining the value of Brothers of Legend. Brothers of Legend, man. If you invested in that set... You're not doing the best. Uh, we're going to send some people to look out for you. All right, so the collector's rare. What, what do we got here? We got uh, we only have 12 so far, at least, and mo most of them are furry, so they expect the furry people to uh, to kind of carry the set. It seems like the, uh, the titty enthusiasts are probably not going to carry the set, I guess, because according to Konami themselves, I mean, they didn't print... A lot of or they didn't make a lot of the the the, the fucking waifus collectors rare so maybe the fur they're, go, they're targeting the furries now uh they're gonna milk the furries maybe they're into it too milking i don't know uh so we got i sold like i said which is great uh it's I'll, I'll i'll take it you know as a collector item i'll take it and the infernoble i was gonna make a deck featuring the uh 
featuring Kluger and uh, my favorite favorite hero to kind of OTK an opponent with the and it obviously need these two cards to search the uh the 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 fucking equip spell and then we have the rescue aces only two of them though we are missing three like i said because there's 15 collectors rare uh in total and hopefully it is that one of them is going to be card trooper and we just don't know about it yet so with that being said guys we the first the first month of this year is going to be uh, a bust then we have OTS 21, which is going to be hard to get. Then we have Photon Hypernova, which for me is going to be a snooze fest. Uh, Trap Tricks structure deck, I'm going to skip on. The first quarter of 2023 is all going to be crap, in my opinion. And that sucks, because I do need content. And that's why I did this video, guys. Free content. And that's the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try to post more often. I have been busy with work I, and I've been trying to knock out New Year's resolutions as soon as possible so I have more free time later on um, and also Konami isn't really giving me much here like you, like I'm sorry guys uh, maybe the next uh, the second half of the year is going to be amazing uh, you know we actually kind of did see this in 2022 as well the first half was kind of crap and then the last half was a lot better uh so hopefully you know i'm optimistic maybe that's the the way it's also heading uh but i'll catch you guys in the next one